Well, hi, everybody. I'm Alice Carone. In the next 60 minutes, we're going to tempt your taste buds with everything from the tastiest ice cream to the most delicious veggies. I promise you, you're going to love them. But first, we're going to start off with something that you're going to use to put all of those goodies into. It's called Packet. And look at this. It looks like a billfold, doesn't it? It's about the size of a billfold. But the beauty of this is what you do is you put the entire thing into the freezer. It turns into your lunch bag. It's so cute. The whole thing freezes so no more of those ice packs those things that get slick and slimy and weird you can't find them anyway it is all here cute as can be and we're going to do it at the lowest price ever $14.99 and two flex payments let me introduce you to Stacy Archer who happens to be a food blogger, but more importantly, Stacy is the mom of five. So when it comes to the packing of the lunches, I bet you've done a whole bunch of these. Oh, these are my favorite. It's my godsend. Um, you know, with five kids and a food blogger, I'm constantly making sure that what we're cooking for dinner and what we're having for breakfast is healthy, it's nutritious, it's on the go. And then I feel like I was failing at lunchtime because I didn't have something like this originally. I was worried, okay, sun's gonna spoil it, heat's gonna spoil it. I gave up on lunches, I let them go to the cafeteria. Well, that'll add up <laughs> fast, won't it? It is so much better when you can control what they eat. Let us show you the color choices, okay? Because the colors are I so think. precious. And let me tell you, the, the ones that are out there in the stores are ugly. Poor little Adriana had to carry the ugliest lunch bag to school. I wish you'd had these. Black, we have the cherry. Mm. We also have that geometric, uh, The what is the one next to that? That is the that petite ombre. ombre. Uh -huh. is, Oh, final 200 if you want the batik ombre. Um, then we've got a buffalo navy in that beautiful kind of a, a, a plaid pattern. There's your multicolor tie-dye, very hip, cool. Watermelon, that would be Adriana's favorite. She uh, loves watermelon. Black and white stripe, and then we have the arrow. But let us show you how this technology is different. Starting with the fact, if you just bought this because it is the cutest <laughs> lunch bag, <laughs> I understand it, I get it, because it is precious, but but the capacity is amazing, but it's the inside that's really the secret weapon. And that's just it. There's 360 degrees of cooling gel built mm -hmm. into the liner of the bag. And that being, you don't need ice packs or gel pucks that sit at the bottom and take up space. Mm -hmm. Look at all that space you look can get. Look at that capacity. I love it. And look at how, t how tall this is, too. You can put your drinks in here and stand them up. Your thermoses can go in here. You all can put of that. so much. And I'll mm -hmm. show you. Um, well, here's an example. I was mentioning lunches. I felt like I was failing on lunches and sending the kids to the cafeteria for chicken nuggets and French fries and you full know all sodium, that unhealthy full of fat, full yes of, full of no flavor and it, it had everything in it except flavor right, right right so with this option I can now keep fresh food fresh it's like a refrigerator on the go mm -hmm. so for instance now instead of just peanut butter and jelly I can actually make tomato lettuce cheese and turkey on a sandwich and mm -hmm. feel real good about it that it's not gonna melt, it's not gonna spoil, it's gonna be crisp, fits right in there. Something I would never do before, milk. Do you ever think about putting milk in a bag? Uh, we can do not. that right now. Mm -hmm. These sticks, you know how they are in the sun? Right. Or they've been smushy, they're fresh. You can put Look vegetables. How cute that oh is. yeah, with some peanut butter. Do it with ranch dressing. Don't worry about it spoiling. Oh, that is so it cute. works. And here's some rice pudding. I got all that in this bag. And you have room to spare in that as, as well. And I still have room to spare. So mm -hmm. it just zips up like that. But you know, you the other great part of it is because the whole thing is an ice pack, okay? So understand when you feel it, the whole thing goes right in the freezer, right? It goes you, right in the, the freezer. Whole thing. Right, and, and I'll it show doesn't you. take up a lot of space it because doesn't. it folds all the way up to like a little billfold. It's so tiny. And we all are worried about freezer space. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that this folds up so tiny, and you can get two or three of these in the freezer and be able to still have your ice cream and your mm -hmm. vegetables and your fruits, everything still works. Let's see what fits in here, okay? And this is going to be that beautiful, it's a blue, it's a buffalo navy blue. So right. that is great for kind of a unisex. Right, and so, you know, this is not just for lunches or office lunches, but what we can do is we can actually fit, can you believe this? 
an entire six pack of beer. Good. <laughs> Can you say golfer? And that's exactly <laughs> what I was saying. Golfer, beach. Fisherman. Oh, you don't know it. And you don't have to worry about lugging around a cooler with a whole bunch of ice and takes up space. Now, and how long will it, um, how long will this keep things cool? This will keep things cool up to 10 hours. 10 hours? 10 hours, yes. So that's way past my work day. It, yes. Mm -hmm. And you know what I love about that? That's way past your golf game. It's way past your golf game. <laughs> unless, unless you're a hacker <laughs> like me, and then it may take eight hours to get right. off the course. It right. could happen, yeah. And it has an adjustable strap. So if you are a golfer and you want to hook this onto your golf bag, you can just go ahead and do yeah. that. If right. it hooks onto your, ba your book bag mm -hmm. at school, it's got all sorts of easy attachments to go. This is one of my favorite colors right like there. This? So is this for moms? Did you pack it for moms? Yeah, or? I wanted to show too. You know, we have a lot of nursing mothers out mm -hmm. there and they're working in the office and they need to pump and they need to get their baby's milk home safely. And so this too works for them. It's got the space, it keeps it cold up to 10 hours, mm -hmm. as we mentioned. Uh, you can also spend some time packing some nice, healthy snacks for the mom. And there you go. Right. You know what? You need to grab a couple of these because these are the perfect lunch bag. You're going to use these. If you go to the stores, number one, they are ugly. I, let me <laughs> say, uh, there's no other word for it. They're just, I could say unattractive, but they're just ugly. Okay? They're awful. Right. Looking. You'll spend more on them. And they don't work well because you've got those ice packs. Those ice packs get slimy, they leak, and they start sweating. And honestly, yeah. the food on the bottom mm -hmm. always stays cold because they're, the next, to the, they're right. next to the ice packs, but mm -hmm. the top gets all warm. The whole so thing this works. Cold. It's all 360. 10 hours. Best price we have ever done. Stacy. thank you so much. We love it. It's a great idea. Don't forget, if you want the ombre, most limited and uh, only about 100 of those remaining. $14.99, two flex payments available on that 606653 and look what we have up to 25% on a lot of our top kitchen brands that you're going to be saving today. So uh, check out some of the things we have, like our ice cream maker. We have this coming up. I bought it myself. I can't wait for you to try this. It makes the most amazing soft serve ice cream. But look, here's what I love about it. You can actually make two flavors at the same time, two flavors. And it doesn't make a ton of ice cream. It makes the perfect amount for a couple of people. You could probably make four servings each, but it makes the real deal. And for $34.95, I've never seen anything quite like it. But it's simple, easy, affordable, and we've got it on four flex payments, and we've got even some really fun colors. But what we're gonna do right now is so exciting because when it comes to veggies, when it comes to fruits, we're always looking for different ways that we can, can make it more appealing. Well, we're about to do that. It's gonna look great, it's gonna taste great. It's our Today Special. There's a reason it's called the spaghetti because it rhymes with spaghetti and you're able to take your veggies now and then turn them into almost like a spaghetti style. It is fun, it is healthy, it is simple, it is easy and you know the fun part is it tastes different when you make it into kind of like a little type of spaghetti. You look at that, so many of us watching our carbs, we're watching our grains, we're doing this, we're trying to eat healthier. This is your healthy way to do it, but it makes it fun, it makes it simple, mm -hmm. and it spices things up in a way no other uh, other tool can do because this is an electric spiralizer. No more doing this. No more getting big contraptions. It's $29. It's 95 cents. And let me tell you, simple, easy to use. We're going to give you the biggest configuration anywhere. We're going to give you the lowest price anywhere. And in fact, two of the blades we're including, you get a total of six. Two of them, you can't even get anywhere except right here in this configuration. You're going to get that thick spiral blade. You're also going to get a thin spiral blade, and then you're going to get, in, on top of that, your ribbon blade, the slicing blade, ultra thin blade exclusive to us. And that's gonna make like an angel hair pasta. You will love that, you will use it constantly. The ripple blade, also exclusive to us. Every one of those is gonna to be top rack dishwasher safe. Every one of those is gonna come with it for $29.95. And every one of those you're gonna see with Mark Gill, 
who's one of the premier product presenters How of are our you? time. It's I am nice to see you, fabulous. my friend. <laughs> and you know what? You look at this right here, and mm -hmm. this is my point. There's a reason spaghetti rhymes with spaghetti. <laughs> that looks like my favorite dish of pasta over that. Oh, except, well, you're going to uh, love this. Let's see. The fats are missing. The calories are missing. Right. And the vitamins and minerals and the right, good stuff exactly. is all added. <laughs> well, that's why people love spiralizing their vegetables. It gives you a fun, entertaining way to get vegetables into your diet. Well, you know, in a lot of ways, especially the kids don't even notice. So let's have a look here because we know a lot of people love spiralizing, but we also know what they don't like. First thing they don't like is all their food going all over the counter. So look at this. We have a catch container with some cup hash marks on there so you know how you're measuring up. Now have a look here. Our power head, the motor is in here, not the handle. So every part that doesn't touch the food can go in the dishwasher. That's great. And this is 20% stronger than any other model we've come out with. Now this is a gear system. There's a small gear right there that mass, uh, matches up with the gears on the teeth that you put inside. Now I'm taking a second to go over this, but at the end of the day, it's gonna take you about nine seconds. Right. Then you're gonna pick your blade, all right? Now the blade only fits one way. It sits in flush and you know you've got it. Now listen, at this point, that machine won't turn on. That's important. So many of these things you put your uh, thing in there and you start twisting, mm -hmm. your finger gets comically close to the blade with those ones. I'd much prefer something that's automatic. So listen, the only way this machine starts is to put everything on properly. So let's get going, okay? Guys, watch this. This is one zucchini you're gonna watch here, all right? There is no force needed. This machine is designed to do all the work for you. All you're gonna do is let the weight of the food plus the weight of your finger do all of the work. And what we're gonna do, Alice, is I'm gonna show you how to make a simple step to make such a huge difference in what you're doing. Here's what I mean. A full serving of pasta can have somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 plus calories right. and 150 plus grams of carbs. Now listen, this one is so big, I'm just gonna stop because we have more than enough <laughs> here, guys. Have a look, all right? I have That's mounds amazing. and mounds of the most beautiful angel hair uh, spaghetti pasta here. Have a look here. So here, watch what I'm gonna do. And this is where things are so cool. If I can get a favor here, I'm just gonna go and grab look at a this. pair of tongs. L look at there how we go. long these strings <laughs> Are. Right? You know what? It is now officially okay to play with your food. Exactly. Play with your food. Look at the look at this. Madness. Exactly, right? So I now just listen. Want to take it and, just put, <laughs> and you know what? It's just as fun, much right. fun to eat it completely raw as it is to put it in that Isn't pot. it? Well, we're going to do a quick cold salad here when we're done, too. Mm. All you need to do, guys, if you want to keep your doctor happy, replace two cups at a time of your pasta with your spaghetti noodles. What a huge difference. Now you've gone from 800 plus calories, 185 grams of carbs, to 60 calories and 8 grams of carbs. So when it comes time to serve up those noodles, friends, family, the kids over. Listen, nobody's going to notice. Oh my nobody's going to care. It looks like pasta. And everybody is going to be a tiny bit healthier for it. Let's get a couple of shrimp on there for Alice, and just you know, like that. And the truth is, I'd put a little bit, of, a little sprinkle of cheese on <laughs> there my zucchini, oh, and it would be so You put a little so sprinkle. Good. How about I put a little sprinkle? I think that would be fabulous. <laughs> Listen, we've got two books that, if you want to order these, we have them available. They are thirty-one ninety-five. They will give you endless opportunities. They will give you everything. Exactly. From vegetarian carrot enchilada. 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 Did I say <laughs> enchilada? <Enchiladas. laughs> <laughs> and I've lived in Texas, shame on me. Enchilada bake, to you name it, collard hummus mm -hmm. wraps with golden beets and sprouts. If you want the books, you get both of them, right? Exactly. For, for $31.95, you terrific get both books. of they them. They are really terrific and books. And three flex, flex payments available. I'm going to get into my pasta. Mm -hmm. Use my and fork. And I'm going to go ahead. You're going to do the yellow squash, but we're going to go out to the bones. Oh, terrific. That's because perfect. Because Sean is calling in from Oklahoma. And Sean, welcome to HSN. You're on with Alice and Mark. Hi, John. I understand that you have bought our Spaghetti. Yeah, I was up at midnight, and this is the perfect appliance I need. I love it. You know what? It's so <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> you know what? We're making food fun again, aren't we? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, what's the first thing you're going to do with it, Sean? Well, let me see. I have to brag on myself first. Since the beginning of the year. Okay. Love. I've lost 46 pounds. Wow. Congratulations, Fantastic. my man. Way to go. Eating now, vegetables just like this. And this makes it easier to eat the vegetables, doesn't it? Because it's a little more fun than just kind of slicing it and then putting them down. <laughs> just playing yeah, with like, my food. Little, it's a little boring eating carrots just sliced up. Now, obviously, it's the same vegetable, but, you know, it's just a different shape, and it's, it's a mind game. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly right. So 
You know, it's fun. Whether you want your noodles cold or whether you want them hot, give them a little bit of a stir here. And what we've got here, try this, Sean, next time. Uh, 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 just kind of make your uh, uh, vegetable noodles, a little bit of balsamic, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of fresh parm. And that's the quickest side salad that you can put with a dinner. It costs pennies. The kids love it. And you don't know you're eating all these great vegetables. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to set that there. Don't you love the design of this, Sean? Absolutely, it looks easy. I'm gonna just, right. you know, when I'm done, just pop the top and, and not the top, everything else in the dishwasher and go. Perfect. Love that. Oh, absolutely. Tell us one of your favorite favorite foods to make that has kind of helped you with your weight loss. Carrots, squash. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I mean, I'll go with the carrots and chicken are my go-to. Love it. Sprouts, carrots and cabbage, and carrots, cabbage, chicken, chicken the base, and any of the other vegetables, everything. Love Fantastic. It. You can throw a little bit of chicken in your new mm -hmm. veggie pasta now, and it's going to be so good. Yep. Sean, Perfect. thank you so much for shopping with us, and uh, congrats on, on that weight loss. I know it's, feels it's hard good. to do, but boy, it feels good, thank doesn't you. it? Listen. It does. Okay, Love listen, it. we're going to send it right out to you. Take care, okay? There we go. And, you know, here's the thing. Look at the different blades you're going to get. You're going to get six blades. You're going to get six. Now, listen, when you find this at the stores, it's going to come with four blades. When you find this on the infomercial on TV, it's going to come with three blades. We found every blade we can find for this. We're going to give you six blades with it. I'm just getting my uh, uh, my cucumber all queued up here, but have a look here, okay? Our Ultra Thin, which is exclusive to us here at HSN. Favorite. This is my favorite. That was Marlo's favorite, oh, too. Yeah. This makes that angel hair style pasta. Remember, instead of 800 calories, in a full serving, try 60. Instead of 180 plus grams of carbs, how, try eight. <laughs> how, how is this zucchini squash? Isn't that beautiful? Look at how much it looks like pasta. But you know the best part too is it's, and you can cook it to any consistency mm -hmm. you want. I like leaving it a little crunchy, almost like a, what I call al dente in Italian. Al dente. Because you know why? It makes you feel fuller. People need to chew. Exactly. And this is that perfect way for you to do it. This happens to be, this may be my favorite blade though. I this love this, is my, my favorite. favorite demonstration because that is just cool. I don't care who you are, if you like cucumbers or not, you're gonna do it with a cucumber just because I've never seen anything. Well, it gives you two options, Alice. This. Watch this, it gives you two options. Okay. Number one, it gives you a nice big veggie Look. smile if you wanna go ahead <laughs> and like garnish a big roast or chicken dinner or something. Cause yeah. listen, we eat with our eyes, have a little fun with this. If you like the flair of a restaurant, the flair of going out, now you can do that kind of stuff at home. Mm -hmm. But here's one of the coolest things about this blade. If you like homemade chips, if you like dehydrating, if you like any of that kind of stuff, watch what I'm gonna do here. This is the same cucumber cut with the same blade. So we've got that beautiful spiral, you see that? Well, watch this, Alice. If I start halfway down right. and just go right from top to bottom, now instead of a spiral, now I have oh. the perfect slices for potatoes au gratin, for dehydrating, for anything like that. How cool of an idea is that? Or for, for pickling your cucumbers. Absolutely. You can do that with these as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. And they're all perfectly sliced. Right. They're, not, they're not torn, they're not ripped, they're not ragged. Look at the beautiful slice on that. That's the sharpness of the blades mm -hmm. you're getting. You're getting blades that are exclusive to us that you will not get anywhere else. What is that? Well, this is our ribbon blade. I'll show you a little bit more about this later. Is this? this is daikon radish, no about kidding. four and a half inches high. And look what's happened here, you guys. These are the kind of fun noodles. We're going to show you how to make a veggie lasagna with this that's with out of this daikon world. Daikon radish? Exactly. So you've got a full power base, 20% stronger than anything we've ever offered. You've got six blades. You've got a catch container. And every single piece that doesn't come in contact with the food is dishwasher safe. What a configuration this is. What a configuration, what a day, what for $29.95. How can you resist not having fun with your food? How can you resist not being able to play with your food again and enjoying it? This is what it's all about, giving you something that visually is gonna be stimulating, that actually it just tastes different when you when you spiralize the veggies. Absolutely. Because I'm not a big fan of, of zucchini unless it's fried and this and that. I put now, I put it in, in a salad with a little bit of vinegar or oil and vinegar. Mm -hmm. It's and quick little, and easy. It's fun to eat it again. We're gonna go back out to the phone. Jackie is joining us from Florida. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. How you doing? Great. Great. It's so wonderful. <laughs> I'm looking at him. I'm well over 21, we'll say. Yeah. I have arthritis. I have a crank thing, and I have another kind that slides around the right. counter. And <laughs> Food everywhere. <laughs> 
superb. Love it. Love Let's, it, love and, it. And you know what? Look at look at how this thing works. I think it's so simple. And then you toss everything, except for the motorized part, you toss everything right into the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. You're good to go. But um, Jackie, I don't think I've ever seen anything that does this many different designs. I mean, I think Wonderful. that you're going to be able to have so much fun with it. Wonderful. I, I, I make a... Uh, uh, with jello or gelatin mm -hmm. and uh, put a little vinegar in it and make Ooh. sort of a, a side for salads and putting shredded vegetables in Love it. it. And all. It's, it's very refreshing and all. This would be a pleasure. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely lovely. I, I can't say enough. I'm looking forward to getting it big time. Uh, you know what? We're going to send it out to you big time, seven to ten days at your door. Let us know how you like it, Jack. We want to hear back from you, okay? Thank you so much, dear. Listen, thank you so much for shopping with us. Look how fun this <laughs> well, is. So this we've is been having rash. some fun while you guys were chatting. So here's what we've done here. Let me set this here for just okay. a second, okay? Now have a look here. This is my snack station. We used our uh, uh, thin blade on our potato, and we've made our curly fries. Now you could use this as hash browns if you mm -hmm. want, but what I love to do is set this in a little bit of water to get the starch off, and then fry them up either in the fryer or put them in the oven for a few minutes, and you've actually got restaurant-style curly fries that you made yourself. Now I'm going to suggest. Just oh, also, uh, why not do these in the air fryer? Totally. If you're trying to eat healthy, do it like this. Put it in the air fryer, let them crisp up, and you're going to like everything about the way they look, about the way they taste. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try my right now. you also saw us with our ribbon oh, blade on the potatoes. It's almost like potato Isn't that chips. so good? <laughs> it's so good. Now, what's great about these, you ever wander around like a, the mall or a restaurant row and you see them outside trying to tempt you to come on inside with a great dish? Right. A lot of times it's this. You can take these potatoes, again, throw them in the fryer, the air fryer and look what you've got not only a beautiful presentation but talk about something oh to my. hold that cheese and a little bit of that sriracha sauce and oh, now wow. you've got a restaurant quality appetizer that you can do at home so fast <laughs> and easy it's out of this world alice look okay. at that isn't that fun <laughs> i feel like i should get, get on in, in there, there and try one look at the crispiness that you're able to get because the way that this is spiralized look at the thinness Not of beautiful. it. I mean, it is crispy, it is thin, it is beautiful. You're going to have such fun with this. I can't <laughs> wait for you to get it home. And I'll tell you the truth. I have a spiralizer. Mm -hmm. It is so big. Right. So bulky. It was I want to say maybe four times this price. Mm -hmm. I don't use it because... And the food goes all over the counter. It goes all over the <laughs> counter. But even more, more of a, mm -hmm. a hassle, it's a hassle to use. Right. It is a hassle to get it out. This is simple. This is easy. You throw the blades right in the dishwasher. Look at all the blades we're going to give you. So you get all these different options. You get that thick spiral, the thin spiral, the ribbon blade, which is the one you're seeing with the potatoes mm -hmm. here, the slicing blade. The ultra thin makes it almost like an angel hair pasta and then you get the ripple blade which one i wanted to know which one makes this over here that guy there is the like thick the, and it looks like, like fettuccine exactly like fettuccine. <laughs> i mean look at that that's as close to fettuccine it is yellow squash you can fool people but you can cook it in so many different ways mm -hmm. once it's spiralized that's the really cool part about it it will taste differently well, because like, it, it interacts with the, with totally the ingredients, picks up all the, the taste and flavor and everything else differently okay, right exactly and unlike pasta that takes eight to twelve minutes that takes two <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're good there. So guys, just a really quick reminder of this machine. You've got your catch base right there, and it's a very small footprint, all right? Listen, I've seen a lot of smir right. spiralizers out there. The footprint doesn't matter when it shoots the food all over the counter. That kind mm -hmm. of makes it a little bigger. The power head has 20% more power than anything we've ever offered in a spiralizer, and it's a gear system. That's so cool, you guys. That means it's a rotary motor. Those are designed to last. Your blades have notches on the back, two there and two there. There's only one way it can go in. If I tried to put it in like that, where it's not flush, the machine won't even start. It sits flush, just like that, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a quick salad, because guys, here's the thing. We don't have salads very often, because they are time consuming. It seems like such a simple dish, but you gotta get out 19 different things. But they're boring. They're time consuming, right. and they're boring, because you slice the cucumbers, you slice this. Look at the, and I'm obsessed. These are English cucumbers. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these English cucumbers. And it's only one. Watch what's gonna happen here, you guys. In the time that it takes you to get a head of lettuce out and a knife and a cutting board and start hacking away, you're done. Okay, now which, which blade is this one? This is your thin blade. This okay, is what like we use. 
hair. Exactly, exactly. You know what? Yes, it does. the angel hair was actually the ultra thin. Oh, this okay. is our thing. You know, we get this so many just... blades in here. So watch this, Alice. This is like your regular spaghetti. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a recipe that is featured actually on the side of the retail box. So have a look at that. That's one English cucumber. Now we take a little bit of feta cheese and we turn a 35 cent cucumber into a $14.95 salad at any restaurant in any city in this country, you guys. Have a look, add a little bit of chicken and you've got the perfect healthy salad in minutes. I Absolutely in minutes. You are gonna love all the different things. You will play with this and play with, and I say play because this, this is not even food prep. <laughs> this is pure entertainment. It is entertainment to be able to take your food and make it as beautiful as any chef out there. Mm -hmm. I watched a documentary on one of the world's most famous chefs from France last night. Let me tell you. You know okay. what? We're gonna pause for just a second because I heard the noise. Okay. I heard the noise that protects the motor, you guys. I want you to see this, okay? All right. Inside, there's a gear system, as I said. If you've put your food in off-center badly, or if you've put something in there that the machine doesn't like, it's gonna tell you. And the reason that it wants to tell you, Alice, is because it doesn't want you to burn your motor out, and it doesn't want you to dull your blades. Okay. Unfortunately, when you've got a machine that's uh, crank-operated, mm -hmm. you can't have any respect for the blades that are in there because you're just going kind of wild. Right. That will dull the blades if you move food through it too fast, especially food with skin on it. So all it's telling you is either switch blades or switch foods and we're going to be happy again. Guys, have a look. Isn't that perfect? Beautiful. Every single time. I love Absolutely it. beautiful. So I'm watching this documentary and the, and the food mm -hmm. prep and the hours that they spent <laughs> making that food look beautiful. You can do it in a matter of seconds Absolutely. now. Absolutely. And we're going to give you all the inspiration you need right here. You get both of these books at $31.95 and it, it's a fabulous book. Look at some of the beautiful pictures on that, okay? And uh, you know what? Some of the simple things that you're going to be able to do from lasagnas made with veggies you cannot believe but I think Mark all of us are really trying to eat healthier but mm -hmm. healthy means boring typically healthy really I does cannot, mean boring. <laughs> I cannot do boring when it comes to my food it's exactly um, it's my highlight of my day is to get in and eat I love to eat mm -hmm. I want it to be fun I want it to be tasty and I want it to be visually appealing. Look at what you can do now. And let me tell you what, I bought some beet chips the yep. other day. Oh, oh, but that cost you. Yes, it did. <laughs> and you know how many were in the package? Oh, One no. handful. One, I One opened else, it up right? and it was all air. And it's this little handful of beet chips. You can make your own beet chips now. You can make them even more beautiful. Put them in an air fryer if you want them to be healthy. But look at the precision with which you're able to do that. I think that's what blows me away for $29.95 right? to get that. Or you can spend four or five times this and get another type of spiralizer. Mm -hmm. Why not try this? Get it home, what is it, on three flex payments? Right. Get it home and try it. Look at that. <laughs> if, well, now, if, if we're doing that fun, for a reason if there. If that's not fun, I don't know what is, because that is just cool. <laughs> it reminds me of when you play with the slinky, you right? know? It's like a little slinky, but uh, it's edible. We're making food fun again. <laughs> so, Alice, watch what I'm doing here, okay? I've done this with the, the, the spiral blade on a couple of our root vegetables here, because I want you to see something very, very cool. If you're a fan of dehydrating, or if you're a fan of making your own snacks at home, this is definitely the way to go. Now, first things first, okay? What I've made right now is a garnish. The spiral blade makes the most beautiful garnishes for you to put around your food, wow your friends and family and stuff like that. But if you love dehydrating, if you love those chips that you can buy in the store that cost a fortune, watch this, you guys. It actually makes a starter hole for you on top. You see that, where the blade went down? Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle like that and watch. Instead of a spiral, now I have yeah. the most even, perfect, uh, 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 well, that's jicama, and now I've got a little bit of squash. You can use carrots, and in case you're wondering about the strength of the blade, the very first item you saw me use with our spiral, with our spiling blade, spiring, Spir spiraling. Oh, it's been a long <laughs> you're morning. Aspiring is, to spiralize. <laughs> I'm aspiring to say the word <laughs> aspire, guys. This is sweet potato. So go ahead and dehydrate. Yeah. Make those apple chips. Go ahead and make all of those things that you, maybe you buy a mandolin for. Mm -hmm. Now this is going to do the exact same job. That's the coolest thing ever. It is the coolest <laughs> thing ever. And you know what, what? What you spend for a mandolin can actually be more than what you're spending on this, and you will have so many different mm -hmm. options. We're going to give you blades nobody else even has. Okay, nobody else even has that one that makes like the angel hair pasta, little skinny ribbons. Right. Nobody else even has that one. Nobody else has the ripple blade. We're giving you a total of six plus your machine. Frankly, 
frankly, if you just spent six, if you spent for six oh, blades, twenty nine ninety five, the blade. you'd be good, right? <laughs> but now you're going to get terribly without the blade. everything as our today's special. Um, um, my question is, mm -hmm. what, what is the capacity of this? Now, right in front there, you've got measurements all the way up to eight cups of food, all right, okay. which is terrific. So, yeah, you know, you're only really talking two or three zucchinis if you're looking to fill the full eight cups. You're talking less than $3. Right. So I have the coolest lunch idea for you guys. Watch what I'm going to do here, okay? How many of us, either uh, between us or maybe it's the freshman 15, this is where you, Guy and I were talking this morning, is where the fault lies. Right. And a lot of these fast, easy, quick noodle dishes that you put water in kind of at lunch, we've seen right. those, right? Sure. Do yourself a favor. Don't you ever, ever, ever read those ingredients. No, <laughs> you don't want them. You won't, you won't do it again. It's all Not carbs. if you're watching your sodium. Right, and Whoa. it's sodium and it all turns oh. into sugar. So here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and take a mason jar, put your favorite veggies in, take your favorite kind of, uh, uh, whether it's a beef broth or whether it's chicken, anything like that, and stuff it with those noodles. So what's not gonna happen is you're not gonna add all of that stuff into your diet you no longer want. And this is what you're gonna take to work instead of that cup. And watch this, you guys, when it comes time all you're going to do is you're going to fill it with hot water mm -hmm. that's going to mix with the soup base that you've put in and instead of those noodles that you don't want to eat or shouldn't eat uh -huh. watch this now you've got the freshest made homemade soup that you've ever had before eat those with chopsticks a nice little fork, an egg in there, and a bit of soy sauce. And guys, have that instead of that noodle mess that, that you take incredible. home. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. Look at this right here. You have made a, a, an incredible lasagna. Right, which I'm going to actually finish right now. Okay, good. Listen, um, we only have a couple of minutes left oh. in this presentation. This is a great time for you to think about what you're eating. Mm -hmm. Think about how the food, what what are you doing with a cucumber <laughs> or with a zucchini besides Slicing. just chopping? Slicing, that's it. And you know, now in the stores, they have entire sections where they have done this. They have spiralized those veggies and yep. they put them all together for you. Check the price on those. I, I started buying those just because, you know, I was like, well, it's so easy, it's so uh -huh. convenient. And then I stopped because number one, they were really si stupidly expensive. And number two, a lot of times you got them home and they went bad so fast because right. they were already pre-spiralized. Do it yourself, crazy affordable. You can make lasagnas with it. You can make such Fun you know, things. let your Little imagination bricotta. run wild. There's so many great recipes online. I know you've got mm -hmm. a couple of fantastic books in your hand from a great friend of ours. Now you can go ahead and make veggie lasagna, build that up layer by layer. And yeah. now instead of a lasagna that you feel guilty about, you don't want to give your face, eat the whole thing. Eat the whole thing. <laughs> Stick that in the oven. You know, I'm it. done in an hour, okay? Listen, don't forget about these books too. We're gonna give you two of these, $31.95. Great ideas. Look how thick they are, okay? <laughs> I mean, you're gonna get a whole lot of inspiration. Oh, and by the way, um, only 1,400 of these now remaining. So if you do want these, you're gonna want, do you, yeah, you get both of these, right? And they're signed as well. Did you sign them? Oh. I did not sign them. <laughs> I think Allie would be really mad if I signed her books. <laughs> <laughs> they are by Allie Maf Mafucci. Mafucci, our, Mafucci. Our, our good friend. Mafucci, yes, I love that name. So anyway, if you'd like those, don't miss out on the spiralizer, though. The Baghetti. 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 The, thank you, thank Mr. McGilly. Oh, there it is. I'm going to change it. <laughs> Grilled the Gilly. Oh, we're making ice cream next because you saved all those calories, right? <laughs> hey, did you know that you could stream both HSN and HSN2 live anytime, anyplace? With just the click of a button on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV, you're connected to the latest and greatest we have to offer. And with HSN2, there's always something different from what's currently airing on HSN. Just Head over to hsn.com or open your HSN mobile app and start watching. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day.
Well, you saved all those calories with your spaghetti. Well, of course, now we get to indulge in ice cream. But you can even make this healthy if you want to. In fact, you can make some regular and you can make some that are completely healthy all at the same time. I love this ice cream maker so much, I bought it myself, okay? Last time, last, I've never eaten this, I'm not even an ice cream person. I ate it last time that we presented it. I went home and ordered it. Why? Because Dash does so many kitchen appliances that not only give you incredible quality, but gosh, they make it so easy to do. You're gonna be able to make two pints at the same time effortlessly. Yes. Look, it even comes with a little handle. Know, so so you, you can just it. pick it up and I gotta say. scoop it out. <laughs> and this makes the real deal. When I talk about soft serve ice cream, yes, it is incredible. You can even <laughs> add in your toppings. ingredients, yes. your toppings, just like the like the big boys do at those at those yeah. ice cream places. They charge you by the ounce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah by the weight. It's I know, crazy. I know. Thirty-four ninety-five is your price. We've got four flex payments today of eight dollars seventy-four cents, and we have Kelly Deedring here who fed me so much ice cream. I know. I will say, you I went bought home. it. I went home. I did my like, job. <laughs> Why did I eat all that ice cream? But you know what? This is hard to resist. Look at the soft serve Look consistency of this ice cream. Sorry. Now, if you're thinking, well, Dash, oh, perfect. She's <laughs> eating it right off the ladle. Dash is all about unprocessing your food. Okay, and this is ice cream. Yes, but you control the ingredients. If you've ever purchased a pint of ice cream right. and you look at the back of it, really, mm -hmm. ice cream has like three or four ingredients. The back of a pint of ice cream has like 44 ingredients. I mean, mm -hmm. so you can oh. now control it. Maybe you're gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, you know, you know, whatever you want to do, you can control your ingredients, and it does two at the same time and then as Alice mentioned and this is my favorite part about it is you can literally if you're having a bad day or maybe you're having a really good day whichever one it is take the entire pint take your big spoon <laughs> sit on the couch and just eat it right out of here because it has that handle so you're able to do two flavors at a time right here we just did chocolate and vanilla okay and it's the perfect soft serve consistency so it's not that rock hard ice cream that you're right. used to getting you know at the grocery store first of all the grocery store ice cream is filled with with all kinds of chemicals and preservatives. Some of them even have artificial colors, but it's rock hard. You have mm -hmm. to let it sit out for like 20 minutes. This is like the soft serve, you know, cone machines that you go to the fast right. food place and you ask for the soft serve. That's the consistency you're gonna get but with this. But do you see, and that's one reason, number one, I, I had to lick the paddle because mm. you know, it's, it's like a so little good. tradition in my yes. family. But look at this. Do you see how it is set? Yep. Okay, this isn't that that ice cream. Some of the homemade ice creams, they, they the, they uh, melt yep. nope. in seconds. This is a nice consistency. This is a really nice consistency, and we've read some of your reviews on it. We know that some of you weren't getting that nice consistency. It's because you weren't freezing this yes. enough. Yeah, you okay. have to freeze this for a couple of hours in advance, and then don't fill it all the way to the top, okay? Fill it about two-thirds full, and just go by the recipe guide, because the recipe guide is actually what tells you, and, and I'll show you how to make it. And that's included, right? Yes, it's included. Yeah. Uh, I don't see one out here. I think we've got it on our table down right. front. But you're getting recipes included, so vanilla ice cream, literally like four ingredients. Yeah. I mean, this is the so thing, it's simple. not out of your reach if you're thinking, well, homemade ice cream sounds really difficult. Very simple. You Most yeah. of the ingredients you have already, you know, at home, okay? So pour it about two thirds of the way up, you can see. And these, by the way, frozen for a couple of hours. I actually leave mine in the freezer right. so that I can have homemade ice cream whenever I want it. Right. And I think that that's important because when you want dessert, you want dessert, right? And is it exactly a pint each one? Yeah, each one will create a, about a pint, yeah. The, that's the size of the of the buckets of the little containers there. Okay, by so, the way, let me give you an update on colors because um, I know you're seeing the colors. I bought that. I bought that turquoise. I love turquoise. the turquoise. So beautiful. So aqua, we have the red and we also have the white. But if you want the white, we have the final 700 now in the white. This is just summer fun, but it's you will so not fun. stop from the, for the summer. You will do peppermint ice cream yes. in the holidays. Oh my gosh, root beer floats. Oh I mean, gosh. what a yeah. great way to control your ingredients in something that traditionally you would buy. And it's so small, the footprint. Most ice cream makers, 50, 60, 70 dollars. That's a, oh, like a sure. lower version. And they're You're, big. And, and they're bulky. huge. And you mm -hmm. never want to make that much ice cream. Now, if no. you love the rock, because <laughs> if I make it, you'll eat it. I will <laughs> eat it. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you love the rock hard ice cream, just go ahead and take it and freeze it afterwards. But yeah. I love the soft serve. Most of you love the soft serve. You saw all I did was pour my liquid. You can chill the liquid in advance, too. And then pour it on the inside. Of course, these store in the freezer. Lock it in place. There's a little locking button. And then it's on off. Literally 
really once it's on, about 20 to 30 minutes, you're gonna get that soft serve consistency. You don't have to do them both at the same time. So if it's just you and you just wanna make yourself some homemade ice cream, mm -hmm. you can just, make, you one can side. just make one side. You don't have to always make two sides. But the beauty about two sides, and we're gonna use this as an example, this is just a vanilla base. Vanilla is the easiest one. It has four ingredients, okay? But let's say somebody wants sprinkles, like my four-year-old is super into sprinkles. We actually have the little opening on the side where he can add his own fixings and his own toppings. So you can have as much fun with this as you want to. Or you could do like a little ice cream bar if you're entertaining. Everybody can add their own ingredients into the side. So let's say that person wants sprinkles and then this person just wants a little chocolatey chunks. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is you want to add into it, you can now add your own ingredients, controlling, you know, maybe there's a gluten allergy or maybe there's somebody that's going sugar-free. You can make sugar-free ice cream. You can make frozen yogurt. You can make sorbet. There's your, yes, okay, so raspberry sorbet. sorbet. If you want the sorbet, and this is the recipe book we're gonna include, so you get all these great little recipes in here. And uh, Kelly's gonna work really fast so she can get to this one. Uh, is this I the had, mint? Oh yeah, I you and I are the mint girls. dreams about this. This is some of the best mint ice it's, cream. If you've never Follow had homemade ice cream, I encourage you to get this just because it's a great affordable price. It's a small footprint right. and it's easy to do. Homemade ice cream tastes better. Believe it or not, as good as store-bought ice cream is, homemade ice cream is like a thousand times better it, because it's, it's all real ingredients. And, and the way that this creates it, it's got a real paddle, okay? Yes. I mean, it's the real deal Look when it makes it. And it almost There's tastes like it's whipped. Yes, it is. It's, it's so, creamier. It's creamier yep. and it's really, really light. Yep. You know how you get some in the store and you can't even get it get out? into it, yeah. And it, it never gets creamy. This is Look yours, the, Alice. This is, okay, this the is the mix. So this is actually a perfect example of life in my world. Yeah. If you want to just jump into my world for a second. My husband hates mint ice cream. He does not think mint should be in anything sweet, okay? He does not like mint ice cream. He likes peanut butter and ice cream. And you married him anyway. I know. Huh? I forgave him. <laughs> it's like I have to get over it every time we go through this. That's a veto issue right there. He likes the peanut butter chocolate ice cream. So right next door, I can do homemade peanut butter chocolate ice cream next to my mint ice cream. Both homemade, okay. both of the ingredients I've controlled. I know what's in it. Alice loves the mint, so I'm going to give you that okay. mint I, I think I have a dilemma now. Oh, uh, you oh, because you the like you want one of each? Yeah. We could do one of each. Okay. Is this so, a trick question? No, <laughs> no, you're good. Because the answer is just yes. Yes. Of okay, I so do. there's two scoops of mint, and All you right. can see it's that beautiful, creamy, soft serve consistency, and then one scoop of peanut butter okay. chocolate. How's that for you? But see, this is what I want you to see. Look at look. It's a do beautiful you see consistency. The consistency is absolutely perfect. Because a lot of your your I churned ice yep. cream growing yep. up. Yep. I did all that rock salt yep. stuff. Rock it. And it's hard as a rock. It would, it would absolutely melt in a second. Yep. Look at this consistency. You're going to like the consistency if you like It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, how do I clean these things? Um, so these just rinse on out um, because once you've done scooping it out, you'll just rinse it under hot water and then store it right in your freezer. Are there like chocolate pieces? No. I know. You can do the chocolate pieces. <laughs> oh, no. Now, if you want to get healthy with it, if you really don't want to do like the sugars or the glutens or maybe you're dairy free and you want to do almond milk or slim. You can't hardly find almond milk ice cream or coconut milk ice cream or soy milk ice mm -hmm. cream unless you're at a, like a health food store. You can have fun with it. So right here we've got we've done a really decadent chocolate ice cream, a chocolate chunk ice cream. But then right here we have a Greek yogurt ice cream. It's a strawberry frozen yogurt. So strawberry frozen yogurt is actually a health food in my opinion because you're getting the protein in the yogurt. OK. And then the strawberries, you have the fruit. Look at the consistency of that frozen yogurt. How gorgeous is that? Now, if you want to take the entire pint and take a spoon, be my guest. I am so not judging you for that. I have totally done that. Good day, bad day, whatever it is, maybe you're celebrating. Each of you grab a pint, take your spoon, and go in. Oh I my mean, God. nobody's judging. And, and look, again, even after it's been out of the container, look at the consistency it of beautiful? this. It is so beautifully made. And I think, look at look at the big, look, look at the chocolate. I know. Don't you can add it. <laughs> you want to hard freeze those cups. That is the yep. secret to it. That's yep. the key to it. And then I and might don't just, overfill. I them. might just mix the peanut butter and the mint. And mix is it all wrong? together. Is Not at all. That sounds decadent. So that's my two tips to you. Um, if you have this home and you're concerned that maybe you're not getting the right consistency, go ahead and fill it only about two thirds full. I don't want you to fill it all the way to the top. Maybe you're filling it to the top and make sure those pints are, are frozen solid. So a couple little tips. And once you do it a couple times, you'll get that perfect consistency. You gotta get it. How can I do this? I mean, are you kidding me? Oh, yesterday was National Ice Cream Day. Oh, 
Well, and see, I had ice cream yesterday. Our excuse, oh, that's like amazing. It is that's so amazing. good. This would make a great... Really it, good. If you got it a little melty, you could make it into a yes. milkshake. You, oh, with a little um, with a little root beer. Oh, my God. Oh, like an old-fashioned... So you guys, this, you've got to get this home. <clears throat> this is the raspberry oh. sorbet. So if you wanted to do a beautiful, icy sorbet, that's with fresh raspberry. Look at the color in that. There's your fruit serving for the day in the place of your dessert. Look how gorgeous that is, that consistency. My All right, producer, and then right next door, this is actually gluten-free and, and dairy-free. Really? Gluten-free, dairy-free, sea salted caramel. All right, I'll try it in it's a second. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> I, I think you tried this right. one last time and you lost your mind. <laughs> Let me tell you, my so producer we want is Alan. telling me that I have to move to the other side oh, of, the, no. of the studio. She doesn't know I'm not going. Okay, try this one. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm staying Wait, what right would happen here. if we just didn't? No, we're not leaving. <laughs> we're going to eat ice cream all day. I would day. be very, very happy. <laughs> this is incredible. I want you to try the dairy-free, gluten-free. I haven't opened mine yet at home, so I'll have. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, my God, Alice, try that. No, seriously. Gluten-free, dairy-free, sea salted caramel. Okay. Somebody take this out of my hand. No. Mm. Oh, yeah. Isn't that amazing? Oh, my God. And it's gluten-free and dairy-free. It's not, it's not sugar-free, but it's crazy. amazing. It's yes. crazy. Oh, gee, some things are worth it. I know. Hey, <laughs> but, and especially after you've used your baguette, because we have the baguette available for you, and this is going to spiralize, not just spiralize, but look at how it slices all these different things. Thin spiral blade, thick spiral blade, ribbon blade, that's, six, oh, the ripple blade and the ultra-thin blade, which makes almost like an angel hair pasta. Those are exclusive to us. You will only get those here. Slicing blade, you get all six of these, plus you get your baguette. I mean, for $29.95, you gotta get that home and you gotta play with your food because it's fun to play with your food. And uh, by the way, we have the final thousand now if you want the books to go with it. And I say books because you're gonna get a set of two signed spiralizing cookbooks. $31.95 on a price break, and they're big and thick. I think each one is almost like almost like an inch, I think. The fabulous, fabulous inspiration. Price break, $31.95, and three flex payments. Stay in the ordering process for that ice cream maker. I'm not putting my spoon down. <laughs> I'm not. This, this, that ice cream is incredibly good. You've got to try it. But let's get back to our veggies, yes. okay? Because now I'm starting to feel, I'm, I'm not feeling guilty. This is worth it. John <laughs> Florell is here, and he's going to help us slice and dice and do all the things that a mandolin does. And you're going to do it so quickly, so easily, because this is from Plate. And Plate does a lot of the kitchen appliances that, that we bring you, especially the handheld ones. But they make it so simple and easy. We have it today, $29.95 on a price break and four flex payments. And if you want the green, we have 20 in the green. We also have black, white, and the red that you're seeing. And uh, John, yes. did that take five seconds no. for you to slice that, <laughs> that entire potato? Yeah, what I love was about this. in five seconds in the time that it took me to eat my last and, bite. And you know, that's the thing about a mandolin is it saves you so much time in the kitchen. Take a potato, tomato, onion, whatever you wish. There's three different slicing uh, thicknesses on this machine. And you have a safety so you won't cut yourself reaching into the knife drawer to pick it up. Now, right here at the top, you'll see this little tab. I just take my thumb, slide that down, gives you a thin slice, a medium slice, or a thick slice, okay? So for pan fries, home fries, raw fries, cottage fries, American fries, whatever you wanna call them, they'll all fry up even and uniform because look, they're all sliced even and uniform. Every slice comes out exactly the same thickness as the last, so it's not like a knife where you get, you know, one thick, one thin. Now, when you get close to your fingers, this is where plate, uh, by, by Progressive, comes. Uh, they, they think of everything. Because most people have tools like this in the kitchen, you know, where you get close to your fingers and you have to stop. Because mm. <laughs> if you slip, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Anyway, here, it's got a guide that fits over the machine. Now, you can put this machine in a bowl. It fits across the bowl, which I'll show you in a second, or you can stand it up on your tabletop or countertop, but it has a handle on the top, this safety holder. This is the best feature about this machine, four stainless steel pins inside this cup. There's a free-flowing plunger, okay? So when you push your fruit, vegetable, meat, or cheese on those prongs, the plunger button pops up. And now you put this over the top of your guide, and look at this, you can't go wrong, and if you slip, 
your fingers are always protected. And, and every cool slice like, comes and, out perfect and, and uniform. And, and you don't waste anything. You don't waste anything. It goes look, right look down to left. the very last look slice. <laughs> I know. Left. Now, that's, that's if, not the skin. <laughs> here's probably the hardest thing you'll ever have to slice in the kitchen because nobody seems to have a knife sharp enough. But watch this. You put it in the safety holder. All you do is brush it through for salads, sandwiches, for, uh, perfect for backyard barbecued hamburgers. Here, I've got this sub up here in the front. We'll scatter these out over the sub. And by the way, you notice it takes it right down to that very end slice, okay? Yeah. So you don't waste anything. And don't throw those out. You want to tuck that under. <laughs> I mean, tomatoes ain't cheap these days. That's so a all you do is brush it through against that blade. The razor sharp blade does the work for you, okay? All you do is brush it through there. Now, if you like that slice, but you want it thinner, all you do is with the tab at the top is move that button forward. So if you want a thin slice, and I'll move it up to a super thin, watch this, uh, for bread and butter pickles, or for cucumber and onion salad, or maybe you want to nickel down carrots for canning or slice beets for pickling, but I'll tell you what, there's no way you can slice this safe, this fast, this thin with a knife. I mean, perfect for your bread and butter pickles, oh, look for how cucumber thin and onion they are. salad. I mean, any thinner than that, Alice, yeah. <laughs> they'd only have one side. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's thin. But watch this, because if you like that slice, you're going to love it for onions. Because everybody sheds tears slicing onions, right? Mm -hmm. You ever notice when you're slicing onions with a knife, the more you cry, the thicker the slices always end up? Because <laughs> you want to get the job done quick? With this machine, before you even have time to cry, the job's done. You've got perfect thin sliced onions for heroes, hamburgers, for subs, for sauteed peppers and onions, steak and onion, liver and onion, potatoes and onion, for your thin sliced onions, for, look at that, for that hero or, or sub. Mm -hmm. I mean, like that comes out perfect. Thin onions on a, on a great paper hobby, thin. right? Yeah. Yes. Now, here's what mandolins were originally made to do over 100 years ago in Germany. You're gonna love it if you love coleslaw, like I do. Summertime. Or, yep, all you do is brush it against that blade. Mm -hmm. Razor sharp stainless steel blades do the work for you. All you do is brush it through. It's kind of like a lawnmower going wild in a cabbage patch. I mean, look, look at the job. <laughs> Get the job done quick, safe, fast, and easy. Let it now, rain. Look if, at that. <laughs> I mean, it comes out more that like shredded crazy. wheat than shredded cabbage. Do this with iceberg lettuce on taco night. You'll love it. Saves you a lot of time. But watch the difference now, okay? I'm gonna go down to the thickest slice. And then on this side of the machine, you'll see a little tab. When you slide that forward, I don't know if you can see, see those teeth pop up? Those stainless steel teeth will separate anything that grows in layers, like onions, cabbage, or celery. So now instead of coming out shredded, now your cabbage will come out minced, deli style, kind of like you get in the restaurants. I mean, and the thing is, it gets the job done so, look at that, so fast, Perfect, yeah. uniform, it's a perfectly minced cabbage for cabbage coleslaw. Now, here's now, my question. How do you clean this then? Is it, does it go right into the dishwasher? I, you can put it in the dishwasher if you like, but the easiest way to clean it, just rinse it off like a knife. Just <laughs> you, There's no rubbing or scrubbing. Mm -hmm. Rinse it off, let it drip dry. Everything is stainless uniform. steel. But watch this, Alice, because I always say if the only thing you will ever use this for is mincing onions, Hey, if you're still playing tic-tac-toe with a knife on an onion to mince them, you're gonna love this machine. Just for this one single job alone. Mince onions for tuna fish, for chicken salad, wow. for homemade meatloaf, on taco night, for chili. That's you get a, a perfectly small, minced yeah, onion. It's a pretty small <laughs> mince, <laughs> yeah. too. Now, know? if you want them bigger, okay, all you do is, is slide this bar up and you're dropping one row of teeth, so now you'll get bigger pieces. So, see, here's, here's one thing I tell everybody, okay? If you, it's, it, anything that grows in layers, like an onion, cabbage, or celery, will automatically mince. Anything solid, like a carrot, a beet, an apple, or a pear, you get those julienne cuts. So if you want a julienne carrots for stir fries, or for a vegetable tray, or maybe you want to make some shoestring french fries for the monster, uh, youngsters in the house, <laughs> all you do is brush it through. You can make those thin, thin, thin shoestring french fries. It's done in seconds. seconds. Now, ah, for and, bigger and fries. Perfect. They're so beautifully, beautifully yes. even. All you do is slide this tab forward, and the difference here, I'll show you with the potato, again, for the french fries because the difference in the size of the fries 
Depends on those teeth. So if you want bigger fries, now you get bigger French fries. So is Big there, apple sticks or is carrot sticks. Is there sticks. like some kind of guide or something? Because I'm not going to remember all the different ways <laughs> I can use this. Well, there is an instruction book that comes with the machine. Okay. shows you all these so different cuts. So it'll show you all the yep. different cuts. So you don't have to be taking notes right now right. if you're watching this again. Okay? I do don't like to give you it. a lot of tips it's here, though. In, I know. Because you, you do, and that's great. But I just don't want you to have to think about it right now. What I want, I want you to think about is what color you want. Because if you want the green, we're in last color call uh, now. Yeah, I don't 10. see any okay. celery, but... Just 10 <laughs> if you want to hear. We have the black, we have the white, we have the red. And you're also going to get this really cool peeler that we haven't even shown you yet. I so know. that's included as well. It comes with it, And yep. the four flex payments only for today at $7.49. See, I'm going to eat my apples after my ice cream. Okay, and I'm going to show you one other thing. Because this is the only machine I've ever found. Because if you ever want to dice, I showed you like mm -hmm. with a potato, okay, or an apple. Instead of coming out in a stick, because it's solid, you know, uh, tomatoes are fairly solid. But here's a little tip from my kitchen to yours. Take a tomato, put it inside. Do one or two cross cuts with a knife. And now, instead of coming out in a stick, you can actually dice tomatoes for tacos, for bruschetta for salsa or salads. It's one of the only machines I've ever found that'll actually dice a red ripe juicy tomato. And it takes it right down to the skin. So it does way more work than those electric expensive machines. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'll tell you what, just for slicing alone, you're gonna love it. But it does just about everything. Mm -hmm. Take a bell pepper and a knife, snip the end with the stem off, okay? Reach inside, pull the heart and stems out, all those seeds. Watch this. Here's your thick slice and you can see the thickness of that slice. Now I'm gonna do a, a medium slice to show you the difference. Here's your medium, and this is perfect, that's great for sauteing. Mm -hmm. Or if you want it super thin for like a salad, or maybe a sub for sandwiches, you can do them super thin, like and I want you to see this, look at that. <laughs> Those are perfect. And again, yeah. perfect pepper rings. There's no way that you could do that that safe, that fast, or that thin with a knife. Quick update, the green has now sold out. If you want the red, I have the final 600. That looks like it will be the next to sell out. I only have, um, with people ordering it, maybe about 1,500 of these remain total, guys. We have sold over 12, wow. over 12,000 of these have already been ordered. Don't forget, you're gonna get the peeler. Yep. John's gonna oh, show Oh, I'll show it you that us. peeler here in a second. But I gotta show you this, and I promise so corn cool. off the cob too. Now, I'm going to do this right out here in the front. I know I've kind of made a mess here. I've sliced my way into a corner. But watch what I'm going to do, because if you have a dehydrator at home, you're going to love this machine, mainly for the beautiful paper-thin slices. Mm -hmm. These were, will dehydrate literally in minutes, okay? I mean, they're wow. so paper-thin. And again, you don't waste anything. You could but never, look at those. ever and cut so an apple So if you wanted thin. to make homemade potato chips, you do the same thing, well, just use a potato. apple pie? And, yeah, apple pies. I, I would use a thicker slice, but here, watch I this. I like it when they're Put all your really potatoes thin. in a bowl of cold water. They get hard, it soaks the starch out of your potatoes, they curl up like a regular potato chip. This is the medium, okay? Now you can also do this super thin if you like those really super thin potato chips. Look at that, you can almost oh. see through that thing, it's so thin. Or if you like the more rough and tumble potato chips, those big burly yeah, potato chips, ones. nice and thick, okay, you can do that too. So it's a completely adjustable machine. Watch what I'm gonna do here. Fun. I'm gonna show you this peeler real quick because okay. this comes with it. And then I'm gonna take corn off the cob with the machine because that's not in the okay. book when you get it home. There's a control ball right here. This is one of the coolest peelers you'll ever use because you have that control ball built right in. It fits perfectly in your hand. You pinch your finger on that ball and now you can control everything that you do with this peeler. You can go forward, it peels. You can move it backwards, it peels. So it goes twice as fast as most other peelers because it cuts both directions. But you can do fa fancy cuts. Like if you wanted to make ribbons like this for uh, garnishing a roast hammer lamb in the oven. Or if you wanted to do your, your spaghetti pastas, you can do this with this peeler because look at this, I mean, Watch, the, oh, you can do a spaghetti lasagna, or look at that, a zucchini lasagna. You can stack up those layers. Or, here, uh, by the way, there's also an eye digger outer. That's what I call it. <laughs> when you get to the eye in the potato, that's the, the tip of it, term. that's the technical term. <laughs> the tip of this is a perfect, uh, it gouges the eyes out so you don't have to peel it down and waste everything. Love it. Now, I gotta show you okay. that corn off the cob. Do the corn. Because I promised to show you that because as a corn stripper alone, you're gonna love this machine. I'm gonna put it on its thickest slice. Okay, now whether you do your corn blanched, cooked, or raw, it makes no difference. I'm using raw corn here. If you wanna cook it first, put an oven mitt on your hand when you do this at home, because the corn's probably gonna be hot. Mm -hmm. But lay it off to the side of the machine, and all you do is brush it through. 
Each time you brush it through there, it takes four or five rows of corn right off the cob. For creaming or steaming, for boiled or buttered corn, for relishes, for chowders. Hey, listen, uh, you won't, if you're still using a knife to take corn off the cob, Look at the job that does. You get full kernels of corn, you don't get any cob. So if you have kids with braces, or maybe your grandpa, like mine, has teeth like the stars, you know, they come out at night, he can't chew the corn, so we take it off the cob for him. Yeah. <laughs> He's got You're gonna more, love this really. machine. <laughs> it, it does it all. But unfortunately, we don't have more time. <laughs> oh no. Thank you so much for quick. spending some time with me today and with, for John Florell to be with us. But you're gonna see our today's special coming up next. Robin Wall's up next because it's Lunch Rush starting right now. Welcome to Generation Wow. For over 75 years, HP has been the leader in innovation, pioneering technology through cutting edge products and forward thinking solutions. HP makes life better for everyone, everywhere. From laptops and desktops to monitors and printers, the visionaries at HP create experiences that amaze. Let their experts help you reinvent how you work, play, and live. HP and HSN, keep reinventing, only on HSN. Discover the newest way to create a style all your own. The HSN Style Edit. A curated look at the season's best, most original finds for every part of your life. We decode the trends, share tips and how-tos, and give you the inspiration you need to style it your way. It's the joy of the hunt and the thrill of the find. Your unique style is here. Discover it now, exclusively at hsn.com. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm your host, Robin Wall. It's such a pleasure to have you.